Hey my friend, Jason Cardamone here, and I hope you are having a fantastic Independence Day. Whether you're here in the US celebrating 4th of July, or anybody else, in the, anywhere else in the entire world, or if you're anybody else in the entire world that's not Jason Cardamone, I hope you're having a fantastic day because the reality is, this whole video, the reason why I want you to pay close attention, I want you to start to think about what does independence mean to you? This doesn't have to be a day of independence. What is your life? What does independence mean in your life, in your frame, in your camera that views the world like you're viewing the world right now and you see a blue shirt and I'm telling you the best is yet to come because it is and maybe you believe that, maybe not. But as you're thinking about all that, what is your particular view as you're hearing my voice right now? What does independence mean to you? Why are you here? What, you, what is independence to you? Does it mean that you just have, as my friend Tom Chanel would say, do you just have more money at the end of the month or do you have more month than money? Which means, did your money run out on the 20th or the 25th or like most households, like on the 15th and suddenly you have to scramble for two weeks not knowing what to do. Do you know the average household only has 400 bucks in cash, like in their bank, which is ridiculous. I was gonna, I was looking for my wallet, it's not near here. And I just wanna show you and demonstrate to you and let you know the best is yet to come. And independence for you, it doesn't need to mean, you don't need to settle for, awesome, I wanna have enough money just to pay for our bills. Right, is your lifestyle even what you really want? Are your bills, where are they from? Are they from debt? Are they from, are, are your bills the equivalent of you putting the right food and energy and health into your body right now? Are you drinking the right kind of water? Is your air clean? Where are you at right now? I have an aunt that literally just a few days ago, thank God she moved here to Colorado, but she lived in a place in California where they couldn't go on a walk outside of their home because it was so bad, such a bad air quality. All of they didn't even have, have asthma, but they developed asthma and all these nasty things literally on just a five minute walk around their home. And I never realized that there's places in the world like that. I live here in Colorado where we're all a mile high. Just kidding, totally joke there. I've never even done that stuff. I think I ate a brownie once like a decade ago or maybe even in the past few years somewhere, but I don't do that, which is hilarious. I've never smoked anything in my entire life. So, I, so just say, so you know, in Colorado, it's no different from anywhere else in the entire US and probably like the entire world. You just walk down the street and wherever you would normally see it in any other city in the entire US, well, maybe not like the super conservative cities, it's just like everywhere else. It doesn't matter if marijuana is legal here or illegal. People don't care. It's like guns and stuff. People don't care whether they're legal or illegal. If they want it, they're gonna get it. It doesn't matter. That's human nature. So what that all has to do with all this is that as I'm here in Colorado, we have an amazing air quality overall. We're literally like a mile high from sea level, 5,280 feet above sea level. So not only does it mean when I go to play soccer in California, I can like literally run all day and run circles around everybody because my lungs are used to working a mile above sea level. And it's harder to take in oxygen. That's why we have so many Olympians that train in Boulder, just like my four-time Olympian of a running coach I hired. That she used to live here and she just recently went back home to her home country. And so guys, what all that has to do with anything is that the air quality in Denver might be different from California, might be different from Detroit, Michigan, might be different from Orlando, Florida, might be different from London, might be different from somewhere in Russia, and it might be different from Okinawa, and it might be different from Hawaii, might be different from New Mexico, and it might be, and real, and Mexico, not just New Mexico, <laughs> and it might be different from Cruz Azul, and it might be different from Costa Rica, and different from Honduras, and South Africa, and everywhere in the world, New Zealand, Australia, all of those have a different amount of air quality, just like everybody has a different lifestyle, just like food and clean water and everything else cost a different amount all around the world, but what does that mean to you and your independence? That's the whole point of this video, is to get you thinking of, first of all, realizing 
There's a whole world outside of your world. And yes, I am from America and I am not like this, hey, there's no world around me and I'm like some like, I only believe in the US. I don't believe in that at all. I think people have the same heart all around the world and we're all humans and I don't care what color or skin they're wearing or what meat suit is on the outside. If they're a jerk on the inside, it doesn't matter. There's jerks of all colors and walks and ages and sexes and religions of the whole freaking planet. So it doesn't matter where, where you're from. I want you to like open your eyes as part of this video is realize there's a lot of us in the world and there's a lot of problems and we all have to work together and part of our duty, obligation, responsibility is to find the best version of ourselves and go make the world a better place and you do that by asking a question like, what does independence mean for me? And I'll share with you some of these big aha moments. I used to think independence for me was living in an amazing home like we live in now and that I wasn't right. This is the second pretty large home we've lived in and I'm like, it's cool. Do we need this much room? We don't need it. It is awesome to have my own office. In fact, I pretty much have an entire floor of our home, 1,500 square feet. That's mostly my office because I'm pacing around whenever I'm on the phone covering all this area and walking all around the house. So yeah, that's cool, but do I need that? No, I had an office about half the size of just my home office right here that I used to pace around my desk on a headset all day long and I would just like literally do circles and I'd go both ways so I don't get uneven because that's how I roll. But that was when I was working at that job and stuck in that office, I still do the same thing here. I just have more room and I, I just get to do it here without a suit and tie. I get to do it in a shirt that says the best is yet to come. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I could do whatever I want and I could wear soccer shorts like I'm wearing right now. And even though you guys, you're probably picturing it, oh dude, for all you know, I'm naked down below here. You don't even know what I'm doing. But I get to wear whatever I want and say whatever I want and do whatever I want and make 10 times, 100 times what I used to make with a fraction of the effort. That is more independence that I used to not be able to see because I got to a new level of independence and I realized like, whoa, there's even more independence just like you're climbing up a mountain and you get to the top and you realize there's another mountain off in the distance but you, a higher one that's a better mountain that you really want to climb now but you couldn't see that mountain because the peak of this one was in the way of seeing the other one behind it. It's all about perspective and that's how personal development, it's how your whole life works. As you grow and you get to a new level of income, you get to a new level of energy and fitness and weight, there are always new levels. There is no end. You don't just, I have arrived, I am the perfect weight and the perfect body fat and the perfect energy and the perfect health and the perfect income. That is not growth. That's dying when you stagnate at a certain level. So it's totally cool to have a target you're going for, but when you get there, I want you to realize just like there's a whole world and you're starting to realize there's a lot of things happening all around us and the world doesn't just revolve around us. As you get to this place, there's another world beyond that. And that's what I wanted to inspire you. The real point of this video is for you to think about what is independence for you right now and also what does that look like for you as you start to gain this independence. I was just talking with a really good friend this morning and doing some co-coaching. It's a really high level, super successful entrepreneur. Sorry guys, my, my youngest kid, we have friends over and they're all excited about the 4th of July and they were like yelling and so I, I had to cut there for a second. But I'm talking to this really high level entrepreneur and we were talking about what are they going to do when they resolve this particular situation. And in their case, it was literally being 100% debt free. That's their current target, their current dream. And I remember when that was my dream. The way I solved that was file bankruptcy 11 years ago because you're instantly debt free. Now, did I stay debt free? Pretty much. I've pretty much been debt free for about 11 years. I will say we strategically and on purpose carry a car loan right now, very carefully and cautiously because I realized over these years as I was like rebuilding my credit and everything and I did it super fast and I've taught people literally how to even qualify to buy a home like within six months of filing full bankruptcy 
and I can teach you guys all that stuff too, but that's not what matters. What matters is there's a system and it's called credit scores. And if you want to play the system of credit scores, you have to be in the system in some way and it means they have to have a history of something. They don't want you to be debt free. They don't like that because they can't get their hands in your history and look at, wow, they've been not, they, they don't use the money system. They don't need to use our credit. That, that's not what they like to see. They want to see you carrying a lot of money because they want to make money off of you. Can they make money off of a guy that lives debt free and pays everything off? No, they can't. So they, if I played their game, I would have no credit, hence a low credit score. So the way you game that system is you keep credit, you just keep it very low balances. So you get a car loan for $80,000. You pay off seventy thousand, and now your income to debt ratio is like twelve percent, twelve and a half. And what happens is now they see this: wow, they're so responsible. They have this giant loan, but they only owe this much, and they always make their payments every month. Damn, we should loan that person money because we see they're going to pay off the seventy k. Little do they know, I'm going to go borrow five hundred k. The next month, pay off four fifty, and then pay the interest on just fifty k left, which is nothing relative picture, you know what I'm saying? That's the way you game that system, just like you can game any system in the world. And gaming, is that cheating? Is that dishonest? It depends on what pretenses you go in. I don't do that dishonestly. I let them know exactly what I'm gonna do. The game is the bigger picture and what makes a good credit score. That's what I'm talking about. I never do things that are dishonest or like shady and all. I, I don't even touch that stuff. It's not worth losing sleep at night to save a couple percentages on a credit report or percentage interest or whatever you do. It's not worth sacrificing your integrity or your ethics or your honesty. It's just how I roll, how I was raised and I don't, I've never changed that. So what does independence mean to you? And as you're thinking even deeper about that, my friend this morning, we started to look at what happens when you're completely debt free here in a couple months because of the system that he's plugged in with and what he's already created and all of the not just short term money which means like over this next month what he's already created but literally what that set him up the foundation to literally makes ridiculous amounts of money more than they've ever made in their life and they've always thought they could and now they're they're literally having conversations like thank god i finally found the way i'm going to make six figures a month and i know that number scares the hell out of most of you that scare it used to scare the hell out of me too and i used to write that off i was like yeah but i don't think i can really get there or it's not worth being some money hungry guy that doesn't have a family life and doesn't have health and doesn't contribute to communities and i can't make that much if i'm doing if i'm just trying to make money well let me share with you don't just try to make money. Go do the other stuff too. You just have to be smart and work hard. Work your ass off for money, for your health, for your relationships, for your community, for your mission, for yourself. Work your ass off for that stuff. But do it freaking smart and use systems and put things in place and leverage systems. Leverage the freaking credit system. Leverage the money system. Leverage everything laid in front of you. Do you realize there's tools all over the internet right now that automate almost everything that's happened throughout our entire lives? And you could do it in a fraction of the time and money it used to take you even just 10 years ago. Shit, 30 years ago, I was like picking up phones that had cords tied to them and I should, actually I have one in the other room still. And I'm gonna bring that damn thing out sometime and show you the phone I had when I was 12 years old, which was like super cutting edge for its time. It was actually a push button one instead of a rotary. Yes, I grew up with a rotary phone and there was one on our wall and it's what I used. And look at what we have now. I now have this device which literally I can take almost anywhere in the world and make a call just like when I was in Dubai a year and a half ago and I'm on this phone talk with my wife sorting out bank stuff that we were doing all electronically. It's amazing what you can do from these things. This is so, I love cell phones. They're also the biggest curse ever. If you're one of those people that walk around with it in your pocket or, or like the women doing this stuff, do you realize there's breast cancer happening all the time? And Imagine what cancer is happening from it in your pocket. 
get that crap away from you, turn it off, it's face down right now, and it's on silent 24 seven, I won't know if that thing goes off right now because that will not be a pattern interrupt and wreck my mission to help you go make money and to help you go live the life you're supposed to live, for you to go get the health and energy you're supposed to have so you can live your mission, so you can tithe to your community, give your time and money in the way you know you're supposed to be doing, but first you gotta get beyond that mountain of how do I pay off this debt? How do I pay for these bills every month? What is independence to you? And today, we celebrate our Independence Day. And you're gonna look back on this day for, I, I just felt like stepping into Independence Day, the old one, I haven't got to see the new one yet. Totally spontaneous, random ball, shiny moment. And I don't give a crap. I'm doing that just for fun, but this is really, guys, that movie was about saving humanity, and it's really, that movie's awesome. But it's really about everybody from around the world coming together and locking arms, to everybody do their own part and be their best self. Some of them had to fly jets. Some of them had to take care of the people at home. Some of them had to run the bases. Some of them had to fly in the ship up into the mothership and plant the bomb named Will Smith and guy in um, the Genius Club. Holy crap, I'm completely mind blanking everything. But that guy up with Will Smith, which Bill, I forgot his name. He's in Mensa, which is a, you have to have an IQ of 140 or 145 and above. He's in that, and so is Gina Davis, and so is a whole bunch of other people. But none of that has anything to do besides they did their part in, in that movie. Just like, you need to do your part, because this whole thing is a big movie. I want you to think about that. Is this life really some like, oh, I'm, it's so serious and everything sucks and like, Guys, this whole thing is your own movie and we're co-creating this giant movie together and you can call your movie Independence Day, you can call it Braveheart, you can call it Rocky, you can call it Gladiator, you could also call it Pursuit of Happiness, you could also call it Nightmare on Elm Street, you could also call it Friday the 13th, Jason Strikes Back. Is that, look at all, there's, so, there's a million plays I can take this right now. And so, I will say, when my sister first saw Pursuit of Happiness, she literally called me, and Will Smith is almost the only person left on earth I haven't personally met and thanked him for what he's done for my life. Because I grew up with him and I had rough teenage years, I'm about to start crying. His music literally helped me through one of the hardest times of my life back then. And I haven't got to thank him in person for that. But, and he's one of the, literally the only people on earth that I met. Him, Pele, one of the best soccer players of all time. And I think there's one other I can't think of right now that I literally haven't met, stalked, whatever I had to do to finally meet him. <laughs> and sometimes get a picture and all that stuff. But here's the whole point. My sister saw, as we're all co-creating this movie of all of our lives, my sister saw Pursuit of Happiness and she called me and she was like, she was in tears and then I was in tears. And she was like, to her that represented my life. And all these emotion, all this emotion is coming from, yes, I've been at the bottom rungs and yes, I've had to fight through a lot of stuff and yes, Every second of it was worth it. All the pain that my wife went through, all the pain my family went through, both family being my children and family being my parents, my siblings, everybody in my sphere of influence, any amount of pain they had to go through, my friends that have been with me for years, some of you guys watching this right now, all the pain and whatever we had to go through together or whatever you had pain you had to go through watching me get my ass kicked, that was all worth it because of the person I've been able to come and the ability I've been now gifted with to inspire other people to be their best selves by simply looking at things like as we're co-creating this amazing movie called Your Life and we're doing that together and I know this is touching you on some deep level. And as you're really taking that in, what does your movie look like? How does that make you feel? And you're beginning to really let sink in deeply, what is independence to me? 
And those words, the very word of independence, as you're continuing to think about independence, how that sounds, what that looks like, what other speakers you've heard talk to you about that, whether it was someone on stage, you remember hearing something on a radio or you're driving down the road or you are on a podcast and you've just heard someone and what this all means to you. And as those pieces are starting to come together more and more and you're beginning to see the real movie of your life, the real mountaintop that you're going for, and you're even beginning to have vision and x-ray vision where you can see through that mountain and start to realize there's another mountain and that's your destiny. It's not this short-term goal and the short-term pain and the things you're dealing with now, then that's all you can see because it's right in your face. One of the keys, you take those things you, pr you use your imagination, you get on top of them, and then you put them behind you where they're back here, and now you're looking forward to your new mountain, and you're looking forward to all the people you can help, and as you're stepping into that, and you're living in that, and you're seeing what you're capable of, you look back and you're like, man, look at that old mountain I used to deal with, with all the debt and all the things and all the problems I was worried about. I don't even think about that stuff because I'm only focused on serving others and serving myself, and this is my life regardless of if this mountain is still in front of you. you. You use your powers, and I'm talking about your vision, your imagination, your creativity. You literally choose to just take this mountain and put it right there. It's in your past already. You're already past it. You're not focused on this because what you focus on expands. So what is independence? It's not worrying about this shit. Independence is looking up here and this is where you're going and that's your, that's your entire purpose. It's everything. It's why you're here and you have a unique set of gifts that nobody in the history of humanity has ever had and maybe you're good on video like I am. Maybe you're really good at entrepreneurship and making money online and teaching other people how to do the same and maybe you share a lot of those different gifts with me and maybe you're an amazing life coach and business coach and all these other things. But then maybe you also have other gifts, like maybe you're a really good artist. I suck at that. And all of us have all these different unique gifts. So we share some together, you share some with some of them, you share some with some of them, and all together it is our duty, obligation, and responsibility to take these things, to own them, to take that old mountain, throw it aside, and look at the real mountain, and pull out these gifts, because these gifts are what get us to that. And that's your journey, and that's your destination, and that's your purpose, and that's why you're here. And I have a system to help you to do that. Go down. It's jasoncardamo.com forward slash webinar. It is literally going away on Friday, July, four, five, six, seventh, eighth, whatever this Friday is, it's gone. This page, that webinar, it's gone forever. That's not even the point of this video. The point of this whole video is to help you see all of this, to realize we are all one, the whole world's hurting, we all need your help and we need you to step out and pull out your fullest God-given gifts so you're working on this mountain and not the other one, you're already past now just from doing something as simple as watching this video. So as you're doing that now, if you want help with that and you want to do some stuff and you want a system to help you take some shortcuts and just fly right over that mountain, go down to that link and if you don't want to do that, that's totally cool too. I just want you to be inspired to go crush what you need to do so that you're past that mountain, you're here, looking there, and guess what? Next week, we're past that mountain and we're to the next one because you're never going to realize your fullest potential and you're never going to be able to reach 100% of your potential, which is part of the irony and part of the whole video game of life and this movie we're creating. You cannot live 100% of the life of all the gifts God gave you that you're supposed to pull out. And I don't care if you don't call it God, it's the universe's gifts, it's your genetic gifts, it's from, it's from the, the, the way the molecules and the plants were aligned when you were born and how they literally lined up right into your mother's womb and bam and all these things happen and that's, that's what forms you. And if it's the quantum mechanic physics behind it all, whatever that is that makes us all who we are, you will never reach 100% of what you have to reach. 
but you can reach a hell of a lot more of the percent that we've all lived up to this point. So step into that and own it. And if you want help with that, go to the link and check that out. And if you don't help with it, go do what you know you're supposed to do and look out for the next video because I'm always going to inspire you. I don't care if you ever click on a link like some of you are doing right now and like some people I did a long time ago. Love you guys. Have an amazing Independence Day no matter where you're at on this beautiful thing called life on planet Earth. Love you guys. I'll chat with you really soon.